to my channel. Today I'm going to do a super fun video. This is a full face using only kids makeup. Ah! I know, that's crazy. If you're a YouTube lover like me and watch a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of like beauty videos, you've probably seen this tag going around. Or not, it's not really a tag, it's a challenge. You're only allowed to use kids makeup. Like makeup you can get at like toy stores and Claire's and stuff. So this is going to be super exciting. This challenge was created by Nick Tutorials, my favorite YouTuber. Oh my god, she's amazing. You have to follow her if you don't do that. If you don't do that, like are you living under a rock or something? Can't really see how anyone can do that. But I will link her video down below. That video was amazing. She's so talented. She really rocked this challenge. But I have seen a lot of people do this video and I feel like they have so many things they have like primers foundation concealers if you live in like a bigger country or like a bigger city you could probably find more things that i did i actually wanted to do this challenge only using this one and another product and i feel like this challenge is a little bit more like realistic who would go out and buy like a ton of uh, like kids makeup like i don't know like i feel like no one would really do that if they're not doing this challenge like full out so I have this really cool palette. You have eyeshadows here. Oh my god, that's such a strong scent. And then you have like bronzers and powder and blushes, like lipsticks. So you have pretty much everything in this palette. So I thought I would, my challenge would be to only use this palette. And then if I want to, I wanted to use this Claire's Eye Glitter. Like, these look so pretty, but we all know that these actually suck. <laughs> these are not really the best, but they look really pretty. If I really want to use glitter, I want to use these as a base. So because I don't have any foundation or anything like that, I want to just use the powder and see how that one, if it covers well or something like that. Okay, so I'm going in with the powder, so I'm going in with this color, because this one seems like the one that would fit my skin tone the best. You can really smell that they are like kids makeup. So let's see how this powder looks. Okay, this powder does absolutely nothing. Like, nothing. I definitely will have a very, very light coverage today. Actually, it does not look that bad. But I definitely don't have a full coverage today, so. But that's okay. And I want to start with the eyes, and I want to use these eyeshadows. If and they look actually really, really cute, but there's no matte eyeshadows in here. They're all super duper shimmery, so I'm not sure about that. I think I'm going to try a few different shades, but I really like these colors right here. Kind of more like cranberry shades. So I want to use those today. Should we do a little swatch test on the finger? Ooh, it's actually really, really pigmented. Ooh, that's actually really, really pigmented. It's really powdery. But that's really pigmented. That's pretty good, actually. I think I just want to try with this little sponge and apply it on. Oh, it's re really, really powdery. Probably one of the most powdery eyeshadows I've used. But we are no primer because... Oh! Okay, that's actually not bad. This eyeshadow is actually not bad. Like, I cannot complain about this eyeshadow. I'm just going to take a blending brush to try to, like, blend the edges. I don't know how well... These eyeshadow blend. Now I want to take a darker shade, but of course there really aren't any really dark shade. I feel like they were all really similar in the tones. Honestly, there's not really any dark shades in here. Like, where are the dark ones? Probably these ones. I might just use this one. More like purpley brown shade. It's a little bit darker. They're really pigmented almost in a, a little bit annoying way because I think that they're pretty hard to blend. Definitely have to blend that line there. That wasn't easy. Whew, that line was not easy to blend out. I feel like when I, because I blend so much, I like take off all of the eyeshadow. Like where did that eyeshadow go? Did they just like disappear when you're blending? So they definitely don't really sit well on the eyes. I think I really have to pl pack them on, especially on the lid. The lid shade is like almost like completely gone. Like they're so powdery that I'm almost hitting pen on them. What the heck? There is no matte colors to find in like kids makeup. It's like, can kids use matte shades? Do they just want shimmers? But I can probably like remember that. I think like matte shades were kind of like boring colors when we were kids. Kids probably don't sit and do like and try to do like professional makeup. It's not really like I think that kids makeup need to like step up their game because you know I think they have went pretty far anyways. <laughs> I don't like whenever I blend the eyeshadow just goes away. 
Hopefully it gets a little fallout. It's trying to take a little bit more of a pink shade right here. I don't really know what I want with that color, but putting it on my eyes. Now I want to try the white shade in the palette. I'm pretty sure this also has a lot of shimmer in it. I want to try to use this underneath my brows, just to clean it up. Okay, I think these brushes are horrible. I use a little bit more of that light color in the inner corners. I have to pack on another layer of this color right here, which I've almost hit pan on. <laughs> That's crazy. Look, it looks really pretty when I apply it, but then it just like disappears. I know I just thought that, oh my god, I had this glitter eye palette as well, and I kind of want to try it. Just because it looks really fun, so I'm just going to take one of the purple shades and just like try to apply it on my eyelid. Ooh, I can remember from when I was a kid that these aren't really the best. Actually, not that bad if you just like apply with your finger. Actually, not bad. But I don't know how it will like hold up on my eyes. Why did I get so much on one of the eyes and nothing on the other one? Now I get it. It pretty much is only the top layer that has the glitter. The rest of it is just like a glue almost. So <laughs> you don't really get that many glares out of these types of palettes. You only get like one eye. Okay, I just like rubbed off all of the eyeshadow. I think that is enough for this little palette. Because they don't have a lashes at like toy stores, I'm just using my own. I think these are either Bedore or Iconics from House of Lashes. Everything just looks so much better once you have falsies on. Okay, so now I just put on the lashes and actually I don't think the eyes are too bad. It was definitely a lot harder than normal to do my eyes. I feel like you could work with it if you just like practice a lot and just like sit there and blend and blend and blend for ages. You could create something okay from it, but I would not really recommend this palette that I go out and buy, but they definitely work. Like I think you can pr make pretty much everything work. But then we have this side, which I want to use right now. I don't think any of the lip colors look good, honestly. I feel like you always get those like weird brown red shades in the palettes and all of these are that color. But I want to start with the bronzer. So I'm using this bronzer right now. Try to contour with it actually. I feel like these are either super pigmented and harsh or they're not pigmented. But I feel like something in this palette that I can like say is that they look kind of uh, pigmented in the beginning, but then they kind of just like disappear. But I must say this bronzer is actually, it's not bad. I can't say I'm hating this bronzer because it actually works out pretty nice. But it all looks really weird because I don't have any foundation on or concealer or anything. So it look kind of dark underneath my eyes and... You know but this is a challenge and you're only allowed to use kids makeup so i'm keeping it real think how cool it would be if i ended up loving some of these things oh my god but that glitter is actually kind of nice then we have six different blushes and they all look identical <laughs> oh my god they're like identical i want to swatch these so you get this pink you get another pink that is the same color another pink in the same tone okay, so you get like five identical pinks and then another one that is a little more like muted, so wow. So they're all in like a bright cool tone pink color. I think I just want to mix them a little bit, just like see what happens. It's kind of hard to pick when there's not really any difference on them. Bush is definitely really pigmented, but I use the most like a dense brush that I have and everything will be really pigmented with this brush. But I just know that if I use another brush, no pigment will come off. Really a pigmented blush, probably even a little bit too pigmented. <laughs> Oh, I hate using blush when I don't have any face product on, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I think I'm going to use that, like, champagne color in the top right here. The eyeshadow. Try to use that as a highlight. Ooh, come through. That's really intense. Maybe a little bit on my nose, like that. And also on my cupid bow. So that highlight, though, that highlight is, like, popping. Oh my god, I think they wanted me to use this brush as a blush brush. Oh my god, like, I think this is too big for the eyes. Like, are you for real? Like, why? Should I try that just for fun? Woo! That's a nice little pink stroke right there. Oh my god, what are they thinking? Such a good blush brush is like my new favorite. Oh, I have way too much blush on. Looks ridiculous. But I, there is, ooh. Ooh. There's another brush in here that... 
looks really interesting. I think this is supposed to be like a lip brush, but I don't know what's happening with this brush, you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Definitely not the top notch brush. Oh, I don't know which color I want. Probably should just go for the like the more pinky ones. So I think I'm going to use this shade. The other ones look a little bit too like something that a grandma would use or something. Oh, they're really pigmented. And of course they have like a frosty finish. I actually don't like colors like this. I always thought that colors like this look so cheap. Oh my god. This is probably the worst one out of the whole palette. Looks so patchy. And I actually hate the color. I absolutely hate this combination. I look like a doll and I don't like that. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of powder on top of it. I don't know if that's a good idea to lighten it up. Oh, I don't like this lip color. Taking a little bit of powder on top. Just the face powder that I use. Just to kind of tone it down a little bit. I hated the color and it looked so patchy, so. So now I actually think the challenge is done. I have completed using full face, using only kids makeup. What do you guys think? What? I actually didn't think it was that bad. The eyeshadows were definitely not pigmented. They're really powdery, hard to work with, really crappy brushes. <laughs> I actually don't think that this look is too bad. It would of course be better if I had some like liner or foundation or better quality products. I actually think this challenge is super fun and it's just such a creative and cool tag. I always say tag, it's a challenge, oh my god. But if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will tag all of you guys to do it. I really, I would love to see you guys do it. But I think that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.